You've been king of the mountain, but can you be king of Tokyo? Based in the world of classic monster movies like King Kong, Godzilla, and Mrs. Doubtfire, King of Tokyo sees you taking on the role of monsters wreaking havoc on each other, presumably because none of you are good at sharing and destroying a nearby metropolis in the process. I'm sorry, Japan. In King of Tokyo, you're vying to be the last monster standing by defeating all of your opponents or winning by acquiring victory points and fame. On your turn, you gather the dice and roll them. Like Yahtzee, you can keep the results you rolled or choose to re-roll some or all of the dice. Although, after a second re-roll, you're stuck with the results. You'll use claw results to attack the other monsters. The hearts help you heal damage, the numbers help you acquire victory points, and the lightning bolts earn you energy cubes. These cubes can be spent to buy power cards with unique effects and abilities for your monster. The tricky part is Tokyo City. You see, the monster in Tokyo City acquires victory points every round, and he can attack all of the other monsters at once, but he takes attacks from every other player outside of the city. And apparently, it's hard to find good medical care in Tokyo City, because while you're inside, you can't regain health. King of Tokyo from Yellow and designed by Richard Garfield seats two to six players ages eight and up and plays in around 30 minutes. King of Tokyo is a lightweight family game that'll keep you on the edge of your seat as you fight to stay on top and destroy everything around you. Will you defeat your enemies and rake in the headlines? Or are you just another monster in a B-movie that's clearly just a guy in a suit? I can see your glasses, Jim.